Rafael Nadal joined volunteers to help clean up after severe flash floods hit near his home in Majorca on Wednesday. The tennis aves also invited people left homeless by the devastating storms to take shelter at his tennis academy in the town of Manacur. Authorities on the popular Spanish island said 10 people, including a British couple on holiday, are confirmed dead after torrential rain hit the region around the town of Saint Laurent. Raphael was pictured in Wellington boots and work gloves clearing away mud and water from damaged areas after hundreds of locals and tourists were left trapped in homes submerged in water. The 32-year-old wrote on Twitter, Sad day in Majorca. My sincere condolences to the relatives of the deceased and injured by the severe floods in Saint Laurent. As we did yesterday we offer today the facilities of Adwinadal Academy for all those who need accommodation. The two elderly Britons, who have been named locally as 77-year-old Anthony and Delia Green, 75, was killed when their taxi was swallowed by raging flash floods. The couple is believed to have died along with their cab driver Juan Solero when the car was swept away by a torrent of water near the coastal resort of Sillet. A foreign office spokesman said, We are supporting the family of two British people following their deaths in Spain and will do all we can to assist them at this deeply difficult time. Our staff remain in contact with the Spanish authorities who are responsible for responding to the floods and are ready to assist any other British people who require our help. Emergency services assisted by the military were said to be also searching for a five-year-old boy missing since the disaster. St. Laurent to Cardasser, where ITV's Love Island is filmed, were hit with 9 inches, 23 centimeters, inches of rain within hours on Tuesday. Witnesses described having minutes to find safety as the water levels rose, inundating houses and catching motorists off guard. The floodwaters tore down trees, swept numerous cars and trucks into piles of twisted metal and buried streets under mud. According to Diario de Mallorca, the bodies of an 81-year-old man and 83-year-old woman were among the first to be found on Tuesday. Raphael Gili Saster, 71, a former municipal mayor, was later found dead at his home, according to local media. Authorities said 80 soldiers and seven vehicles from the military's emergency unit joined more than 100 rescuers deployed in the area on Wednesday. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez called news of the flooding devastating as he visited the area on Wednesday. He added, My solidarity and support goes out to the families and friends of victims and all the affected by these tragic floods, 